what's up, what's up, YouTube? Um, today I'm gonna be doing just a real quick tutorial. I got asked by a viewer, what was his name? Good old Johnny, Johnny Rimple or something, something like that. Good name, man, Johnny, I like it. My name's not John, by the way, but yeah. Um, yeah, he wanted to know how I added my logo, my decal to my, <coughs> To, to, the, to the shoot I done in my last tutorial, which is it's real simple. The, the brush I use takes a little little bit of time to get used to, but um, yeah, just practice and you'll get it. You'll get it. Um, also, links to the songs will be in the description as always. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna start this off just by getting a little base mesh ready for you guys, and I'll probably fast forward through that boring shit that you don't like, but. Yeah, um, fast forward. Okay, so we want to start this by finding the, a brush called Matchmaker Brush. This is pretty much the, one of the only brushes we're going to be using through this tutorial. Um, you want to turn on Symmetry by pressing uh, Control X, I think, Shift X, Shift X. Um, then you want to just find the center like I did and drag out, but <coughs> one of the things I've done here is I've had um. You want to turn off symmetry, which I'll show you in a second, just because the intensity is too much and it um, conforms a bit too intense to the mesh. So here you go, I've turned off symmetry and it conforms almost 100% like correct to the mesh, or well, not 100, but close enough. Um, then after that you want to, oh yeah, I, I turn my symmetry back on and this is just simply to manually modify the um, the what do you call it, the shape, yeah, so it just gives you a lot more control over how it conforms, so you turn, turn your symmetry back on, um, select your move tool and just manually push it down on the surface until it it's looking good and looking the way you want it to look. Um, if your mesh isn't symmetrical, obviously you don't want to have symmetry on or it's going to give you some undesired results, which is bad. But yep, that's pretty much how you do it. Okay, now I'm going to show you if what, how to fix or how to pretty much clean up if your mesh overlaps. If it's overlapping, you're going to get this sort of thing going, that thing right there. And your mesh is going to stretch crazily just because it doesn't have anything to conform to. So the rest of the um, verts and shit just get left behind. So you want to find that there's a few ways of doing this. Um, there I just grouped everything into one group, which the shortcut for that is Control W. And then you want to find your slice 
slice curve tool which simply um, puts makes polygroups out of the shaded side of your your slice curve and then once you've you've got it grouped out you just want to go into your subtool pa panel find the group group split hit that bugger and it will create a separate polygroup from all the polygroups within your mesh and then once you've done that you can simply just delete the unwanted geometry which I will do later on in this video I'm guessing okay so we've still got a little bit to clean up here I've gone to the mask lasso tool just to this is just a, another way of cleaning up opposed to the slice curve tool you can also make polygroups out of um, just your masks so you want to mask off the area that you don't want and then you simply control w which will mask uh, which will put which will make a poly a poly group out of your masked area okay here i i messed up and i tried dynamo meshing and it didn't look good so i just yeah control z out of that but yeah once again i've just gone back to the the slice curve just to um i think i find it's the easiest way i've ended up just because the the mesh is here on an awkward angle i've ended up just clipping off a tiny bit of the actual mesh which isn't a big deal it's yeah it's just gonna you're gonna lose a little bit of your mesh which you can just fix fix later on by moving it out or just yeah molding it to the way you want it and then yeah once again just group split um and delete the unwanted parts then further cleaning up just smooth it out or you could um trim dynamic if you want those on um, trim dynamic or edge polish to get those hard edges and then yeah then just move it move it back down so yep uh that's how that's how I that's how I get my logos, my decals to conform to another mesh. It's real simple. You yeah, it's literally just one two brushes, just your matchmaker brush and your just a move brush. Um, sometimes you do have to do a little bit of cleanup you know, when you have that overlap and stuff, but it's not hard. Really easy to get used to and it's just yeah, it takes a bit of practice. But yeah, that's how I do it. Do it. It's really, really simple to be honest. Um, just playing around with the settings and stuff and just having fun with it and yeah you'll get it um once again thanks to the dude johnny for asking your questions man if you have any more questions don't um don't hesitate to ask if i was unclear about anything which i know i probably was because i'm a dyslexic motherfucker like that and i just am not not clear with speaking but yeah um if you guys like the video thumbs that shit up if you are if you have another question like i said just drop it in the comments and i will hopefully answer if i'm not too busy and i will answer because i like doing this shit this shit is fun and yeah if you want to see more tutorials from me um hit that subscribe button because i got i'm on 15 subscribers and now no none of them probably even watch my video but videos but I don't know, still I like doing this thing man, it's fun. Um, yeah, so, uh, thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Damn. I got a light up here and it's warm. It's so cold today. It's like my own little son. Mmm.